Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Uh, with this presentation, I want to uh, discuss with you what uh, we have uh, run and implemented uh, in SUPSI together with the collaboration with the Polytechnic of Milan also, particularly the 3D Survey Group, uh, in the context of uh, an interact project which is named in Subri Parks that puts together five different uh, small uh, park, uh, uh, suburban parks mostly, uh, in uh, in the area cross border between uh, Italy and Switzerland. So uh, the starting point was that there are there has been some uh, change in habits of the population of the tourists and particularly the pandemic and the digitalization uh, processes uh, has shown how proximity parks uh, have been. Uh, uh, widely used uh, for the citizen and uh, started uh, to get uh, a new real interest also for tourism. And uh, so the idea was uh, to try to think how we can uh, adapt the offerings and management to use uh, to meet the user uh, expectations for a positive experience uh, in these parks. And uh, yeah, of course, uh, uh, the main frame that we need to follow is uh, the fact that uh, we wanted to create some real value for the areas and uh, work in uh, strictly in collaboration for with the tourism authorities, local tourism authorities, uh, its uh, real uh, advantages. And we wanted to test how can uh, open source technology uh, give uh, uh, their contribution to this uh, creation of value. As a paradigm for uh, digital uh, uh, value creation, we can act of uh, five of uh, on each of the five areas of business. So we can create uh, value in the operational and maintenance area of uh, to realize and guarantee products, for example or uh, we can uh, act uh, on uh, uh, on the sale and marketing area, to, for example, uh, uh, grow in the sales uh, or uh, in the sales and marketing uh, promotional campaign. And then we can uh, work on the management and organization of the park. So how to help uh, or to maintain uh, the products, let's say in this case are the area and uh, research and development of new products that can be offered. And uh, thinking about these five areas, uh, we decided to uh, propose uh, three solutions that uh, are impacting different areas. So the first thing uh, was the creation of 3D data models. These uh, will, uh, in our idea, try to enhance uh, the develop new products and services and also help in the maintenance of uh, uh, the uh, the products that, let's say, is the area. The other part uh, is uh, the monitoring of touristic uh, fluxes. This can help uh, the, the park and creating values because this will uh, let uh, the park administration to know better how the park is actually used and also from uh, the tourism authorities uh, to define better policies. So, for example, uh, also to test uh, how the promotional campaigns works out. Uh, did we very often uh, local authorities do some uh, uh, promotional campaigns and they don't even know actually how much benefit they brings to the park. And uh, uh, last but not least, uh, the development of uh, uh, tools for uh, the management of the park and uh, the assets that uh, it has. So the 3D survey, we use the Regal VZ4000, which is a laser scanning that uh, can uh, make survey up to four kilometer distance. Then a Phantom 4 Pro V2 and the Leica BLK. Uh, and uh, we concentrated in two areas, which is uh, one is uh, the Sacheba Valley in uh, the Parco del Gole della Breggia and the other one is the Oratorio di Santo Stefano in the, the Palapens. One, one area and uh, 
is uh, related to the excavation in that area, uh, which is a urban park. Uh, there is uh, uh, there was uh, a cement industry that uh, was uh, excavating the mountains to extract cements and produce cements, and now uh, the the industry is uh, stopped, uh, and there is uh, uh, some uh, ruins that are used as a uh, architect. Uh, um, understanding of the situation and uh, we have developed uh, different models uh, to uh, try to simulate uh, the evolution of the landscape uh, in the in the history so before uh, the arrival of the humans and then when there is the maximum expansion of the industries uh, and uh, the situation as it is now and uh, this will be available within the application that has been implemented by the official local tourist office uh, and uh, we will provide some video that will provide experience of uh, what is uh, invisible to the tourist. These are some of the uh, output that uh, has been generated. So you can see how it was at the maximum expansion. How is it now? And here are some uh, experimental uh, uh, visual uh, analysis. And uh, the three epochs were uh, use the different type of data. The first type of data was uh, based on the historical uh, maps uh, to reconstruct uh, the, the actually the uh, terrain uh, and the evolution of the brains. Then uh, the second part uh, was uh, uh, developed uh, uh, by digitalization and of uh, plan of the industry and uh, uh, extraction of uh, interpretation of uh, picture, historical pictures. And uh, then uh, the last part uh, that is uh, has been done with laser scanning uh, survey data that has been meshed up together. And these are some of the results uh, of uh, you see of the territorial. This is uh, somehow uh, the process of uh, uh, creating uh, a virtual model, but uh, that is based on the landscape area is not related just architectural uh, buildings. And this is the interior and exterior of the the, uh, the church, uh, historical church, and this has been done uh, entirely uh, with uh, laser scanning with BLK internal and external, and uh, also with uh, uh, the phantom, uh, so with the photogrammetry, with drone. These are the tools that has been used by the team. I must say that uh, I'm not the the one that uh, do all uh, these uh, did all the, these processes, but they use uh, several tools, uh, several software. Some of them are open, some of them are closed, and uh, I will discuss a bit this uh, at the end, maybe with some. Uh, uh, consider, final consideration, but uh, already from this you can see that uh, at least my team, that, which is uh, not a novice on the fields, but uh, probably is not uh, super expert in uh, open source tools for this 3D analysis, but what comes out is uh, that is, it's not easy at all to uh, manage all this information using open source only software. Then I came back to the touristic flux monitoring, and here we use the, a software which is named uh, Open Data Cam 2, which is a software that uses uh, artificial intelligence for uh, classification of uh, streaming of images, and has been used um, mainly for monitoring of uh, uh, the uh, car uh, fluxes in the streets. Uh, we have uh, took this uh, software and then uh, re-implemented uh, into a sensor that uh, is connected uh, with uh, using MBIoT uh, communication network and MQTT and that store the data in STSOS, which is an open source software, uh, OSG open source software. In and uh, this uh, application you see have been uh, attached to a light. Uh, Paolo, uh, still, and uh, has been installed for uh, a, for over one year. You see, this is what the software offer you to draw a line and then automatically to uh, uh, 
recognize the object uh, and count uh, the number of objects that pass this line in the two directions. So you can have uh, the number of uh, elements that been, has been classified in uh, one direction or the others. And uh, yeah, and, and then what we added is all the part of communication to the server in real time and uh, the visualization and analysis. What we store is and what we uh, communicate uh, is num numerosity of the elements, uh, the directions, and the category of the elements that has been uh, classified. So we can have some dashboard. This has been built with uh, using Grafana that connect with the ESO software and uh, produce some of the results of the numbers of uh, uh, different classes uh, of elements that uh, has uh, passed by the by the monitored area. And uh, for so far, we have tested two prototypes for one year in two different parks. We have some uh, minor. Uh, 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 minor uh, bug that was due to memory leak and SD memory full because we didn't manage correctly the database uh, empty and uh, some communication issue that needed a replacement. Uh, currently, we are in the phase of uh, engineering the prototype. So in collaboration with a private company, we are trying to make uh, this uh, prototype more uh, reliable from the, uh, for the production uh, point of view. The last uh, things uh, I want to show you is there is Park uh, Asset Management, which uh, we name uh, PAM, in Italian PAM. And uh, the idea was to have uh, an application that can manage the the data and the information for the park, but that can be also connected with other tools and other database. This is particularly the case for the Swiss, uh, uh, for the Swiss uh, uh, tourism sector, where there is a different level of uh, authorities with uh, automatic exchange of information flowing from the confederation level to the uh, more municipality level. So information once are entered in one endpoints, they are automatically dispatched to all the level and uh, the way forward. For the Italian side, this was not the case, but uh, the idea was to provide the tools that also in Italy can be used in this way in the future. So far in this application, we manage uh, to the assets, so the point of interest of the parks, uh, the operation that has to be done for the maintenance, the organization of events, the booking of uh, uh, spaces. So for example, one of the tower of the Alm Center industry is uh, currently used as a venue for uh, small events or uh, to monitor the usage and also for collecting notification from the user, from the citizen. This is the architecture of the software that we have uh, implemented. So uh, we uh, use the PostGIS uh, for uh, the storage of the data and uh, geospatial data in particular, and uh, the Minio data storage, cloud data storage for uh, all the information like pictures and uh, PDF and documents. Then we have used Azura with a key clock uh, for a security and authorization service. And uh, the interface has been implemented using uh, Vue.js. Then we have some uh, other uh, Python uh, script that works uh, in the backend that uh, collect uh, email automatically and uh, or insert uh, the email in the PostGIS so that the user can see directly from the application the notification sent by the user. These are some preliminary uh, results. As I said, uh, all these uh, results are somehow not really preliminary, but uh, are not uh, the final uh, solution because still we have six months of work uh, until the end. So this is the main idea that uh, will be uh, tested uh, in the next week uh, by the five different parts. So we have uh, the application with the map and a point of interest and on the uh, right click uh, you can decide to create new feature of interest or create a new activity for uh, the workers uh, or uh, create new events in some places. 
and uh, this is how it works uh, the notification so the user can take a picture just uh, share by email to the predefined email of uh, the parks and then automatically when the data is inserted in the database he receives back uh, a notification uh, that say thank you we have received your notifications then when uh, the uh, park administration assign decide to uh, that this is an important task and need to be solved. For example, there is uh, a tree on the path of, uh, of the trailing path uh, to be removed. He assigned the task to one of his workers and automatically the user that sent the notification get another notification that says uh, we are taking care of, your, uh, uh, of the issues. And then when the uh, element has been resolved the issue he get back another notification this is a way to get the user involved with the uh, continuation of the works and let uh, the user feeling that uh, uh, his notification is important and uh, has been uh, addressed correctly yeah uh, mainly we manage to have uh, three different uh, type of view one is the map, another one is uh, the table view with some uh, 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 possibility for filtering all the elements that can be the activities or the booking or things like that. And another one is uh, a, a task uh, on, the, on the side, that uh, a frame that allows uh, to create, modify or delete different elements. The other type of uh, visualization is uh, by as a calendar. Sorry. Okay, so I have come to a conclusion. We have uh, tried to implement uh, three different tools that, uh, in agreement with the local authority and the park administrator, uh, should bring a new value to the uh, natural protected areas that uh, has been uh, uh, lately explored by uh, urban citizens. And uh, as a final consideration, uh, I would say that for the 3D data, it's not uh, really easy to implement uh, uh, all the pipeline from the survey to the 3D representation and probably on the web using only open source software. Maybe we are not uh, skilled enough, but also with, uh, let's say, good level of people in handling such kind of data was not e easy and uh, was not maybe uh, easy to find some pathway for the entire processing of the pipeline. We tested extensively Blender for uh, the realization of uh, video or 3D uh, uh, very close to the reality uh, representation. And uh, this has a very huge potential, but this also have some issues, uh, sometimes in handling uh, geographical data and coordinating with other type of data, with the data import, for example. For the open source, uh, let's say, monitoring uh, uh, instruments that, and application that we have created, uh, this uh, has been a very, a very surprise. It was very uh, accurate. I didn't show, but uh, we did uh, a post, uh, uh, let's say, validation using proxy. So uh, the the fluxes of tourists uh, react very well. What was was uh, the uh, changing in uh, the weather or uh, in holidays and things like that. But uh, the only thing is that uh, it relies on the user of CUDA uh, libraries, which are from NVIDIA and are proprietary. And nowadays, uh, it's almost impossible to find a new Jetson Nano, for example, on the market. So we couldn't uh, produce the 30 sensor that we wanted. And last thing uh, is uh, the web application. Uh, these uh, use only open source software and uh, the de facto standard. and uh, this is uh, a solution that needs to be tested because uh, in theory this is very nice because uh, allow people to at the end of the year the administration to see how much was spent on this path on this other park uh, or uh, on the activity but uh, this uh, requires uh, the actual user and workers to adapt and use this digital uh, different approach and thank you for your attention I hope I was not too, too late. <laughs> Thank you.